All right, so now that we've arranged our music completely, add some you know transitions to it, um, the next thing to do is to add a basic mix to it. Now in uh, GarageBand, you know I just want to really highlight some simple mixing tips. Okay, I don't want you to overly complicate the mixing process. The main thing you want to make sure that you do is make sure that your tracks are first off named properly, just so you can know where everything's at okay and tep te excuse me technically um, once you drag these samples in here it's already named but say if it's not if you what you would do to name it is go over here to the track and double click here and you could just say drums you can just double click it and drums and push enter and then all of a sudden now this is named now as you can see though it's named right here but you still see the old name here so if you click on this track and then click on the actual re region by clicking but right clicking okay it, this is going to pull up and you're going to see name region so click that and now you can name the actual region as well so, so drums okay and basically what you want to do is do that for all of your tracks so i would just go ahead and push like baseline and then you can just push uh well actually let me you got to push enter first baseline enter and then you name the regions and you push baseline right there as well okay and i would say okay this is going to be our arp short for arpeggiator say arp one name it arp one all right all right, two, click on the region, right click on it, name it, ARP2. Double click it, strings, whoops. Right click on the region and then name it. And I'm just going to push feel for that. Click on the track and right click on the region. And then you can name it. Okay. Now after this, everything is named properly, then I want to properly order everything or organize it. So drums come at the very top. Then you have your bass line. Then that's when you move into your melody tracks, which will be these arpeggiators. And then you have some strings and your feels. Okay. All right. So after it's organized, you want to get the proper levels. Now the things to keep in mind when you're mixing is all, everything is about balancing. Okay. So you want to make sure you can properly hear everything, meaning all of the different instruments. All right. But you may also make sure that everything is not, you know, competing. Okay. So what you would do is you would solo out each instrument and get a loop to where say most of that part is going to be most of your um, songs be played. That's usually the chorus, And you would just listen. All right. Of course that's fine, but you want to make sure also that you get when you get in that level, you want to make sure there's no clipping, no red. Okay. As you can see, that's like clipping. So it's red, so you don't want any distortion on your track. So bring it down till you don't see any red. Usually if you bring everything under negative six dB, if you look at where it says volume, it says negative six dB, bring it under that, you'll be fine. So then you just start bringing in other instruments. So you want to be able to hear the instrument, but with but you don't want it to be competing with the drums. So say say if I brought this bass up, see how it's louder than the bass, the kick drums, or the, excuse me, the drums. If it's louder than the drums, it's not going to you know work, blend well. So I want to have them you know loud enough where you can hear the bass sound, but not so loud where it's taking over the bass, the kick drum.
right? You also want to come over here to this other section. If you have other parts in your music, you know, bring your um, your loop over here to this other part and let's blend that in as well. And voila, you're done. Now, the cool thing about your Apple loops is that most of those loops are already pre-mixed. So you're not going to have to try to, you know, really add a bunch of EQing and compression and all that type of stuff to them. But if you do want to add some effects, add those effects sparingly. And I'm going to show you how to actually add effects if you do want to do that. So the first thing you want to do is select a track that you want to add some effects to. In this case, I want to put a delay sound on our feel where it has like this like DJ boy part. We want to go ahead and add some type of delay. So what I'll do is come over here to this little knob right here, Smart Controls. All right, and click on that. Click on the I, and then you can come down here to Plugins. All right. Now this is actually selecting the master or if you want to do do this on the master, but you want to, you don't want it to be on the master. So unclick the master and this is just going to be on the track that you select. Okay. But we want to put a um, delay effect on here. And so what I would do is click over here and go down to delay and push delay designer. And I always recommend that you use presets. So click on over here on, on factory and go to simple. I would do maybe something like, uh, you know, just, just pick one of them and figure out which one you like best. I'm going to go with this dot delay. So now let's check this out. Now, as you listen, that was kind of off. So what we do is pick a different one. Just keep on picking ones until you find the one that works the best. Um, I'm going to go with this eight. Now that was pretty cool. Now what you could do if, if you don't want that much, um, of that echo effect in there, you can come over here where it says wet, wet is actually what's going to be controlling the actual amount of the effect. So I can turn that down over here and now let's listen to it. See how you can hear it, but you can't hear it. Pretty cool, right? Things to keep in mind when you're using effects is again, use it sparingly or meaning use it, keep it simple. Don't try to add too many effects. Don't try to uh, do too much to your track. These Apple loops are already pre-mixed. They already have sound effects on them a lot of times. And so you just want to add them just to get, spice it up some. some. Um, if you want to remove an effect, all you have to do is go over here to the uh, left of the effect and click on that and we'll turn it off or on. OK. So that's really what I want to show you on this as far as mixing. Now you can come over here and uh, add other effects, too, if you want it. Um, but, you know, keep it simple. All right.